oh, you live in Auckland, you can't buy a house. Mm. Um, which you totally can, mm. but it's that mentality. If everyone is saying that you can't do something, mm. you start to believe it and you mm. become that minority, right? Mm. Hello Melissa, welcome to the couch today on the Relatable Property Investor, thank you for coming along. I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about your journey today, so um, you are a first home buyer with us, you bought, bought your first home with us which you're currently living in and that's super cool, I think you're the only one so far that we've had here in this series, this particular one that actually is living in your, your property, so that's cool. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about your background, your past what you knew about money growing up, what you knew about property and investment growing up, what you learned from your parents, that sort of thing. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about that. Um, I, was, I was thinking about that. Um, we didn't really have, we didn't really talk about money really mm. when we were growing up. Mum and Dad were share milkers and then they went into farming, or into owning their own farm. Mm. So it was always, always worried about money and always short about money because you've got the mm. season where you make the money and mm. then you've got to keep that money to look after there so it was always oh no we can't get that we can't do that so it was never it was never really taught about money mm. um, and the money that we did have we held on to we didn't mm. buy anything or, or do anything like that so mm. um, no financial anything really to be fair. Mm. I think that's quite typical of our generation as well isn't it our parents kind of they might have bought a home they might have um, maybe they invested in one rental property they might have bought a business or a farm but when it comes to property investment and that long-term intergenerational wealth really there wasn't so much of a plan no. and it was certainly not talked about was it no. you know whereas whereas nowadays I mean I've got four children and we're always talking about money mm -hmm. we're always talking about investment and what to do to do next with it but I think our generation our parents didn't really engage in the same way did they no and I, th I think it's also through school as well you're never taught about money mm -hmm. or you know investing or saving and things like mm -hmm. that so I just I think that probably something needs to change as well. Absolutely, it's ludicrous really. Yeah, you, you, need, to, you need to learn about money and mm. you need to learn about how to save or how to invest and, and things mm. and because it doesn't give you the confidence to be able to go and buy a property which is where I was. I was always wanting to buy a house but I didn't know how and then the other one is, um, you know, some people like me, young and dumb, have, mm. have, have a bit of debt mm. and then you run away from it and it mm. just grows and grows and grows and then it, it's never, you, you're never not going to get rid of it, mm. you've got to deal with it. So at, at that point in time I still thought, yeah I want a house but I can't afford one. It's Auckland mm. and you know that stigma mm. of Auckland mm. and yeah. everyone goes on about it. Oh you live in Auckland, you can't buy a house. Mm. Um, which you totally can mm. but it's that mentality if everyone is saying that you can't do something mm. you start to believe it and you mm. become that minority right mm. yeah so I really wanted to buy a house had a couple of chats um, with yourself I think it was and then um, you just rang me out of the blue and said come into the office and I'm like oh do I go do I not go I was like oh no I'm embarrassed I can't go because because of my debt you know mm. yeah and I came in and sat down and chatted with Kenyon actually mm -hmm. and he said how about we do this 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 and this we'll do this, this, do you want the house? And you guys saw the belief in me before I saw the belief that I could actually buy a house. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, we put some plans in place. Um, we said, we'll back you 100%. If you if you want the house, we'll back you 100%. And you said, you just need to do this, 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 and this. Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay, sweet. So partly it's getting that education, isn't it? It is. And seeking those opportunities to get an education. I think, mm. again, this is something that people don't do very often, is, is searching out an opportunity. Or not just searching out an opportunity, but when the opportunity presents itself, grabbing it. Yes, mm. yes. Know? And not being scared to. Because yeah. everyone... I bet you don't regret coming into the office that day now. No, no. Because I walked out... <laughs> I walked out with the house, right? Oh, I, think, awesome. I think what was really cool about you, Melissa, was that we could see that you were just so determined to make whatever you needed to do work mm. so that you could do this. Yeah. Mm. And I think that's the reason why, you know, we were so eager to help you. Yeah. So like this girl wants this so mm. bad. Yeah. You know, and she's willing to basically do anything, sacrifice mm. whatever and um, let's get her into a home. Mm. So it started off with you obviously getting on top of your debt paying down debt, yep. saving some money? Yeah, so I, I, I'd, I'd already started paying off the debt, mm -hmm. but then um, obviously I, there was a few people that obviously I spoke to, mm -hmm. um, but 
someone said, pay the debt off as fast as you can. Mm-hmm. So I had some savings sitting there, so I just took all that mm. and just paid it all off. Interesting. This is really good stuff because it is so true. People have debt mm. and they have savings. <laughs> Which now you're, you're, you're shaking your head about it because yeah. it is ludicrous. Mm. If you have debt and the amount that that debt is costing you, there's no point in having savings. Get the savings and put it on the debt. Yeah. Pay that debt off mm-hmm. because in the meantime, you may as well not bother having the savings because the interest costs and all the rest of it mm. from your debt are eating away into your savings. Yeah. So use all that money and pay the debt off. So yeah. obviously yeah. now you know that now and you realise yeah. your mistake. And, <laughs> yeah. 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 So. And, and how did you find that process working with Duval and working with Narissa and getting yourself into a position in terms of um, the ease of it? Oh, it was it was easy. Mm. It was um, it was it was just good advice. It was just, mm. but it was personal advice. It wasn't mm. like a scripted advice of mm. off the written off the internet. You must do this, this, mm. this, and this. It was catered for me. You know, it was um, right. This is your situation, and obviously, I was honest with you guys. You go, this mm. is your situation. Okay, right. You need to do this. You need to do this, mm. and, mm. and we'll get it done. The thing for us is that we are not. We're only here to help. Mm. You know, we're not. We're not here to make any judgment on it. Yep. We're here to give you the best advice we can yep. and work through your position and make sure it works out. When it becomes very difficult is when people are not honest. Mm. Right, Rissi? Oh, absolutely. And we have this mm. sometimes where people come in, don't be embarrassed, it's mm. worse than if you, you know, and to not tell us something, mm. it works out worse for you in yeah. the long run. Yeah. Just tell us where you're at and we can help you. Yeah. And so how are you finding and living in the property now? Oh, it's great. <laughs> yeah. It's I don't have to move out, you know, I've mm. got, got my own house. Um, you know everything. If it's dirty, it's because of me. If it's if there's things lying around, it's because of me. It's not dirty though. <laughs> <laughs> it's no. yours to lie. It's, it's, it's think, one of the cleanest. You know, an apartment really suits your lifestyle. Mm. Mm. I mean, yeah. I see all the time you're doing a huge yeah. amount of travel around New Zealand. You mm. know, yeah. with your sports and that type of thing, and it's just very much lock up and leave for you, isn't it? Yeah, can leave the house and know that it's safe. Yeah. You know, um, mm-hmm. if someone breaks into, into it, which touch whether they don't, but they're gonna to have to get a ladder and they're gonna to have to go through a, a mm. massive process to actually get in there. Mm. So whereas, you know, if you're living in a house, it's so much easier to get mm. broken into with the amount of travel I do. So it's, mm. yeah, it is, it's perfect. Mm. Yeah, the site that you're living on is also gated, mm. you know, and there's CCTV cameras, which we do on all of our sites. We have cameras mm-hmm. all over them. On-site manager mm. too, which yeah. I think yeah. gives mm. a lot of peace of mind, yeah. especially if you're not there. You know? Well, that's it. You've, you've got to swipe three times to get into my apartment, right? So you yeah, swipe right. through the gate, swipe mm. through the door that you go in and then swipe through my apartment. Mm. So, mm. Um, But where to from here? What's your next steps? <laughs> what do you want to do next? <laughs> um, I, I'm pretty keen to obviously get into another house um, mm. one bigger obviously rent get a bigger house for me mm. and rent this one out yeah. so um, would you have expected to do that before you worked with Duval did you expect oh, that you'd own investment properties no, absolutely not no absolutely. absolutely not like I would even to have a house I probably wouldn't have mm. thought about it um, mm. and I, I, in all honesty I'd probably be if I wasn't for you guys I'd probably be still going oh yeah I want to buy my first house <laughs> <laughs> and what it's been a, I think it's been a year now just over a year or coming up two years that I've moved into there. I think what was super cool is that you had time, Mm. you know, so when you bought, we were still two years away from when um, settlement was going to happen and it gave you that time because I I can remember like if we had have gone to the banks right at that point, they would have said no, red Mm. flag, sorry, Mm. cannot help you, no can do, no house for you. Yeah. Um, But I'll never forget that phone call. Yeah, I know. I'll (laughs) never ever. Yeah, absolutely. And it must have been just a few weeks out from settlement. And you're like, I've done it. Got yeah, I've done it. Yeah. I've got the mortgage yeah. through a main Amazing. bank. Yeah. And it oh, just, I've just got goosebumps. Yeah. yeah. I know, and it just shows you that <laughs> if cool. you put your mind to something, even if you get a no today, mm. do what you need to do, mm. and, and it's it's work the plan. Yeah. You know, take the advice, work the plan, seek the opportunities. Mm. I think that's the thing. One thing for us is that I, what I would expect, I guess, from obviously Narissa and her team, is that you don't come into our business and expect to walk away with one property. Mm. You know, <laughs> yeah. like. Everyone who comes through the door might think, oh, I'm just getting my rental property, I'm getting my first investment, I'm getting my first home, and that's kind of the end of my story. Yeah. Whereas I think part of the education process for us with our advisors is that this is just the beginning. Mm. You know, every property is just the beginning. Absolutely. There's so much more you can do. Yeah. And so I'm very pleased to hear you say that that's not the end of your journey. Oh, no. <laughs> no. And, and going back to that, it was also another person that um, you guys put in touch wrong, mm. the broker. Mm. Yeah, he, so important. He was right honestly. 
absolutely incredible. He mm. he's one of those. He just didn't give up. So he and he did. He tried to because I obviously I've been honest with my debt. I was like, yeah, this mm. is my debt, blah blah blah. So he was trying to go for not a main bank because mm. he thought, well, then mm. they're going to say no. Mm. And then he he goes, can you just fill this report out to me? And it came back that I had I had good credit. Mm. I didn't have bad credit. So mm. he was able to go to the bank. And he got it. So he was just another person that you guys put through, and he just didn't give up on me either. Mm -hmm. so. so that's again, it's an education thing, isn't mm. it? You don't know what you don't know mm. until you've got the right people. And and I think even for us, that's one thing we've done um, a lot of is seeking the right people yeah. who are the right people to work with our clients. Yeah. And um, you know, we don't just go here, you go Melissa. Here's somebody who might be able to help yeah. you. We've tailored that and made sure we've got the right people on board. Yeah. Yeah, and I think also with owning your first home, you can use your KiwiSaver because mm. that's how I did it. Yeah. Mm. So I was obviously mm. saving money, and when I was first opted into KiwiSaver, I was like, I don't want to do KiwiSaver. I can save all that money myself. Mm. I take that back. Yeah. <laughs> However, many years ago, mm. that was the best thing that I, you know, been yeah. able to use that and the amount of money that I could put aside and save mm. and then obviously save yeah. on the side, which if I, if I didn't have the KiwiSaver, I wouldn't have been able to do it because I've done this mm. on my own. Yeah, you know, absolutely. I've paid all of this on my own. So if someone in Auckland says they can't buy a house on their own, I'm a living example that you can buy a house <laughs> on your own. So yeah, against the odds, right? Yeah. 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 I mean, if you're thinking about it, what's the harm of going to talk to someone about it? Because mm. that's where I was, and mm. I've come out with a house. Mm. And you may not be ready now, and as you're saying, you may not be ready now, but in two years' time, you might be ready. Mm -hmm. And you've got you've got developments going that are going to be ready in two mm -hmm. years' time. Mm. Mm. Awesome. And we were just talking about it outside, is that I, you know, we were talking about, and I'm keen to get on my new one, and we are just mm. talking about, where, where's your mortgage at? What's that? So Yeah, that's you know? great. I mean, every time you interact with one of the Duval stuff, they're definitely going <laughs> to asking you about all of your personal and private yeah. financial information 100 yeah. percent <laughs> yeah but it's there to help it's not there yeah. to judge so and, uh, yeah so if, yeah. if you're looking to get into a house just go and do it it's you know it's this house isn't my dream house but it's a house to get me into auckland mm -hmm. on the property market to start building towards that you know, and towards i think you know Duval's been building in areas that are going to build up mm -hmm. you know they are going to grow equity in five ten mm -hmm. years time yeah. Thank you so much for coming and talking to us today. That's we right, really appreciate you. you being here. <laughs> and um, yeah, I have no doubt we will see you sometime in the very near future in the office. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. For me, like, I always, I always wanted to buy my own house. Mm -hmm. um, I just didn't know how I was going to do it, but I knew I was going to do it. So I was always taught to get your money and just save it. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm.